Oh, but I, I, again, I, as a driver myself, I've had instances where police have asked, blatantly asked me for money. Um, you know, and it happens all the time. This is not something we can shy away from. Now, unless you're, you know, right now in NAS, where you're going to go and investigate everybody, what what are the rights of the ordinary mot- like motorist when a policeman stops you? I know there's instances where people have taken matters into their own hand, where they record the police, whether on, on video or on phone, to protect themselves. Is that legal? Because we had an instance when a friend recorded the policeman um, for a traffic offence just to be on the safe side. got really bad. The man took the phone, deleted the footage, warned him it's illegal to record uh, the police officer. Is there any truth to that matter? Um, recently, we've had instances where the police have been recorded yes. in the case of the Anas episode. But with the advent of uh, mobile phones, where there is the possibility that if there's a scene, the owner of the phone could record what is happening. As evidence of the conversation. Of, 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 of what, are, what of has transpired what's fired, there. Yes. The police cannot snatch the phone and then begin to attack the owner of the phone. What the police can do, if the police feels offended, what the police should do is to allow that person to be put before court. The police has no right to manhandle, to uh, attack somebody they suspect has recorded recorded them. them at the scene. Because that will amount to an abuse of the rights of that individual and an abuse of their powers. So, yes, there are instances where the police has gone its way to do the unthinkable by attacking those persons and believing that uh, they have committed a, uh, an offense. Just by recording By recording. Them. Mm-hmm. No, that is wrong. What I know is that sometimes the police feel um, um, threatened by those exposés. So, in order not to allow those things to come out, they would want to stop the whole process by engaging in those acts. But if you report their conduct to the police authorities, and there's a, there's a, a PIPS, a unit within the police service that oversees the activities of the police institution or the policemen and women, you can report their conduct to PIPS, and PIPS will bring them to book. So, there are avenues by which you can... Um, vent your grievances. But I just want you to confirm, because I said I've had a police officer say this to me, that it is illegal in Ghana for you to record a police officer. Is that, is that true? There's no law, to okay. the best of my knowledge, mm-hmm. that says that you cannot form a police officer. Um, if that were the case, we've had instances where the police have been formed and put on TV uh, for everybody to see. Like I indicated, is the fear of what they are, uh, if, if they are, they are, they are, they are doing? Wrong. Yes. Okay. That's why sometimes they get agitated. But there's no law that says that. Okay. Um, is it a legal requirement that you stick your roadworthy certificate um, uh, on your car? Because I know some people that keep the insurance and their roadworthy um, in in a, in a compartment until when they stop, then they'll produce it. Must it be displayed on your car, or you can keep it as long as it's in your car? It's fine. The answer is yes, you must display it on the windscreen, section 94. Okay, it has to be displayed. It must be displayed. Okay. It says that your certificate, your roadworthy certificate and other uh, insurance certificates or, or, or stickers must be displayed openly at the front uh, uh, windscreen. So that is, according to the law, it must be displayed. It has to be displayed. But, to be. So if you're somebody that you're keeping it, tucked away to show it. That's not the correct thing. That's not the correct thing, and the police can insist that you display it. Okay. Um, When can the police do, before we end up, a a body check? Can they physically touch you um, to to search your your person if they think that you're you're concealing something? Yes. Sometimes the police acts on um, Mm tip-offs. They could mount a a, a barrier based on a tip-off. So if that is the case, if, 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 if you are suspected to have committed a crime and the police decide to stop you at a, at a point, 
Yes, they can ask you to come down of your vehicle, then they will search the vehicle. They can continue to search your body to ensure that probably you are not carrying any dangerous weapon or the crime that mm. you are alleged to have committed is not what you have done, just to be sure. So that is within the law. They are allowed to, to, to search you. To do that. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, a lot of insight there. Yeah. And again, if the police stops you and demands money from you, you it's, don't. Uh, so if I, is it an, is an offense if I, if, I, if I bribe, you know, for lack of a better yeah, word, police in, officer? In our, in our Criminal Offenses Act, the giver and taker of bribe are all culpable. So when you bribe the police, you've committed an offense. And when the police receive a bribe from you, he has also committed an offense. So both of you can be prosecuted. Okay. So just avoid it. <laughs> just to avoid it, you don't give the bribe. But you see, in Ghana... But sometimes they say it's not a bribe, it's an appreciation. Yes. So let's distinguish between the two. A bribe and an appreciation. Uh, yes. Because if it is voluntary, if you are crossing a barrier and you think that the police have done some good job. Oh, yes. They sometimes, you know, the job of the police is so demanding. Yes. They stay overnight. You have, sometimes we pity them. They're there to protect us. Yeah, they're to protect yes. us. Sometimes you pity them. You can decide Here. to say, oh, take Here's this. Here's cocoa, go yeah, have some cocoa That's this allowed. Morning. That is not a bribe. Unless you are doing that with the aim that you will come back later to ask for favors, then that will amount to a bribe. But if we just stretch your hand and say, take this whilst you walk away. But essentially, it's, those lines get crossed every single day. Exactly. And so it is, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a thin line, and you have to know what you are doing, whether you are just giving a gift out or you are giving something out with the intention that you can come back and ask for favors. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, we are out of time on the chamber. So I want to say a big thank you to my guest, Abraham Amaliba, who is a legal practitioner.